Hello, Muse News. Well, the biggest piece of news today is the Mewing app is out. Yes, Mewing app. The thing I've been working for for the last three years of my life, it's out there. It's 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 got, you know, all my thoughts and ideas up to about a year ago. Clearly, I now want to start a mission to find more answers, to leave no stone unturned, to look at everything and try and bring it in. What the Mewing app does is it goes into a lot more detail outside the mouth, body posture. Go and look at the abs walk. I've talked about this before. I had to take that video on the abs walk down, but I think it's quite clever. You know, if you want to have great abs and you want to get the great abs by doing no more than walking, check it out. I think it's interesting. You know, I'm, we weren't able to keep it as cheap. Sorry, we've had lots of cost overruns. And of course, I'm not actually in charge of the pricing department. And of course, now that there's many other mewing apps out, we thought, well, they'll take the low end of the market. We'll take the high end of the market. So we're differentiating ourselves slightly. See, so, all right. So now I've also just completed the second week of the court case. The first week was... The, the, the kind of the, the witnesses, the, what we call the factual witnesses, they were the people who were also physically involved in the case. Other orthodontists, dent, actually was a, a surgeon and a dentist. Now we've had the first part, the first day, we wanted to put some more information in. So we, I think we made what's called an application to put more information in. We wanted some information from Simon Wong. So Simon Wong's a practitioner in Australia. Um, me and Simon really seem to be, we, we're, I th seem to be really pushing development, research and um, promotion of all the orthotropic method. And Simon took the research side of our team and he's produced some great work we wanted to put some more information in from Simon um, and also we wanted to put a, a sort of a, 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 some a, a, a Google search to demonstrate that to demonstrate what is common around the world and they were refused so my lawyer is arguing two interesting points he's first answering that the they don't have to find me right that's not the important thing that tribunal at the General Dental Council is not their duty. The General Dental Council is not the arbiter of the truth. All they have to show is that there's a reasonable body of, I can't remember the exact terminology, but let's say just a reasonable body of practitioners who I think are logical and scientific, that, who are following these methods. And then we, rather than saying that orthotropics, you know, where's the evidence for orthotropics? Because there isn't that much, um, but that's what we're discussing. We're breaking it into orthotropics is expansion. It's using appliances, functional like appliances, and it's using myofunctional therapy. So those elements combined make orthotropics. So we need to find a reasonable body of practitioners who does all three of those things. And that's the main body of orthotropics. Now, the other thing my barrister is arguing is that the prosecution expert isn't being independent. He's acting as an agent for the, I forget the actual right word, but basically an agent for the, the prosecution. And that's not his role. And if he's moved across to effectively working for the um, prosecution, then he's biased. And you can't, you know, he's, he's clearly not supposed to be biased. And so we're exploring that and seeing if he's purposefully just not given a fair picture, not painted a balanced picture. And if he hasn't painted a bad picture, hasn't given a balanced picture that really affects his ability to act as an expert so that's going to be an interesting twist to the game so that's what we're doing at the moment so the first two days were kind of like nothing really happened then we've got on to the the prosecution um cross-questioning the prosecution expert and now Stephen uh, uh, Volo, uh, my um, uh, Casey has started to cross-question the prosecution orthodontic expert Powell, and we're going through that now. And you know, it, it's step by step. We'll see how that goes. It's a little bit boring, unfortunately. They've turned off the cameras. We'll I put the link again. The first link will be the. If you want to watch this and you want to get a link to watch this, you can watch it. But they've turned the camera off because lots of photographs of patients were being shown. We'll see if we can get the camera switched on again. It's a little bit boring. It's dull. But you've got to realize that this is a momentous event. 
if I, there's a possibility that the prosecution will argue that people shouldn't be doing in many situations functional blances. And, you know, this is all the, the malocclusion is predominantly, or the structural skeletal malocclusion, but not predominantly genetic. You know, lots of really important things are being debated. And, you know, with common law and these types of things, you know, we could set precedents in this case that could deeply affect a lot of people's treatment. Particularly if they find against me, orthotropics is over all around the world eventually. You know, this would be the beginning of that, this whole field being obliterated. That, that's what's at stake here. And the effect on functional plants could be relatively marked. That would be to see. Anyway, we left the case with my experts saying that he wanted to take the orthodontist for the prosecution, Mr. P, through the evidence of one particular paper. And it was relatively, it seemed quite clear that the uh, orthodontic expert wasn't very familiar with this paper. Um, the paper is um, the Jaws Epidemic. I'll put that link because it's a free access paper. So that's the paper we're going to start off with on the 3rd. So we're not in next week. It's going to be the week afterwards. It's on the 3rd of July, Monday morning at 9.30 British time. We should get cracking. It'll be about 10 o'clock by the time it gets cracking. And that's going to be my expert cross-examining the prosecution I'm sorry, it'd be my barrister cross-examining the prosecution expert orthodontist. This is this really is the, the, the most important element. And he's going to click. This is going to determine my future. It's going to determine my fate. What goes down from a third for the next few days is going to be absolutely critical. Links below. Join us if you want. And um, yeah, don't record it, though. All right. <laughs>